In this video, I'm going to look at directing groups. So if we start by considering the reaction between benzene and chlorine in the presence of a halogen carrier catalyst such as AlCl3, what will we make? Well, we'll make this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or this. So in other words, the electrophile that's produced from the combination of the chlorine and the halogen carrier catalyst can attack any of the carbons on the benzene ring because they are all the same. They are all equivalent. So if we now look at the reaction between phenol and chlorine, and I'm just going to use mono substitution to make the comparison with benzene, things are different. So what we see happening is you get substitution occurring at position 2. So this would be called 2-chlorophenol. Of course you get the HCl as well. Or we get substitution at position 4. So this is 4-chlorophenol. You can also get substitution at position 6, but of course that would just be the same as this one, so I haven't put that one on. So OH groups direct substitutions to occur at positions 2, 4 and 6. So we'll take a look at why. So if we remember the oxygen in the hydroxyl group of phenol has a lone pair of electrons in a p orbital and what this p orbital can do is it can overlap with the pi electron cloud. So essentially what's happening there is the lone pair is becoming delocalized and being shared amongst all these six carbons as well as the oxygen. And what that does is it increases the electron density of this pi electron cloud. And the result of that is that the electron density in this pi electron cloud increases at positions 2, 4 and 6. Now there's another system for labelling the carbons in a benzene ring. The 2 position in relation to a um, substituent group is the ortho position. The three position is what we call meta and the four position is what we call para. If you think of paracetamol, most people have heard of that, you've got substituent groups at positions one and four. So the OH group directs also to the ortho and the para position. Of course, position 6 is ortho as well, because that's 1 and 2 going that way. It's also worth noting that the NH2 group does the same as the OH group. So there's phenylamine. If you were to react that, let's say, with chlorine, you're going to get substitutions occurring at position 2, or 4, or 6. So why is that? Well, sitting on that nitrogen is another lone pair, just like on the oxygen, and it can do exactly the same thing. So just to summarise, the OH and the NH2 groups are both examples of what we call activating groups. So they've both got a pair of electrons on the oxygen or the nitrogen, which becomes delocalised, increases the electron density, that's the activating bit, and they direct substitutions to positions 2, 4, 6. Or another way of naming that is 2 is ortho or 4 is para. So we'll take a look at the nitro group now. So I've got nitrobenzene reacting with chlorine. We're going to go for mono substitution. Obviously we need an AlCl3 catalyst in this case to generate the electrophile from that chlorine. So where will the substitution take place? So you can see the nitro group's actually doing something different to the other two, the OH and the NH2 groups. It's directing the substitution 
to take place at the 3 or the meta position. Now I could have also drawn the chlorine there instead, which you could count it around that way, get you to 5, but in this case it's exactly the same thing. The nitro group is 3, 5 directing. So to explain what's going on here, I've drawn up a dot and cross diagram just showing the electrons around this part of the nitrobenzene molecule. And the reason I've done that is so that you can see that the nitrogen actually doesn't have a lone pair on it. Remember, in the previous two examples, the amine group and the OH group, the lone pair of electrons delocalized into the pi electron cloud and increased the electron density. Well, this can't do that. What it actually does is it withdraws electron density away from the pi electron cloud. So it's kind of doing the opposite thing. And what it's doing is it's actually withdrawing electron density from positions 2, 4, and 6. And so therefore, what's left, or the positions that are left, are positions 3 and 5. And so that's why the substitutions take place at these positions. So we'll just finish off with this summary board. So the NH2 and the OH group, they're both electron donating groups, because that lone pair on the nitrogen, the oxygen. They increase the electron density of the benzene ring at positions 2, 4 and 6. We can also call those the ortho or para positions. And so electrophiles are directed to these positions. On the other hand, the nitro group is electron withdrawing. So it lowers the electron density at those positions 2, 4 and 6. And that leaves positions 3 and 5. So the electrophiles are directed to positions 3 or 5, which we can also call the meta position.